Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And the purpose of this video is to talk about the number one way to tell if a man is into you. The number one way to tell if he's into you is, is he investing in you? This is the way you tell. This is the ding, 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 Because simply put, men invest in anything that they care about. Watch them. Pay attention to them. Whatever he care about, he going to invest in it. It could be his pickup job. He going to invest in it. <laughs> He gonna put his time in it. He gonna keep it clean. He gonna get the, you know, the little chrome on the back, the little muffler. He gonna get the, you know, cover up steering wheel. He gonna do whatever you do to pick up trucks. <laughs> but he gonna care about it. And he gonna show he care about it by investing in it. That's how you find out if he care about you. Now it's not the amount. It's the fact that he invests in you. And so when he begins to invest a whole lot into you, he ain't gonna give you up then, sis. <laughs> because he done put so much into it. That's his baby now. Nah. You're not going nowhere. But he'll start off small things and then he get bigger and bigger. That's, that's how you're gonna find out. That's how you're gonna find out if he's into you. Because he's showing you with action. They are they are more about action than words like the woman is, you know. Oh, I really like him. That's what the woman is saying. But the man, he going to show you that he likes you. And so if he is not showing you this, what he is showing you is his character. He is showing you that he's not in for, for the long haul oh, with you. He, he not vested. Mm -mm. He not. He's showing you that he is not. I don't care what line he might tell you. Oh, oh, I hate it when women ask me for one, for money. Mm 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 mm. You better run. Or um, yeah, I'm gonna do something for you after you do da 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 and show me. Mm mm. Now he put you in the masculine role. You not the show. He the show. <laughs> he the giver. You the receiver. Mm 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 mm. Run. Just, just run. You better run fast. <laughs> and so, if he's not investing, he's not investing for a reason. It doesn't matter what that reason is. What it boils down to is the fact that he's probably there trying to give you a wet ace and leave you with dry purse. So you don't even need to know the reason why the first try. Just, just go. Just go and just leave. <laughs> I never forget when I was a little girl. I wasn't even a teenager yet. They had this guy that grew up near me and he liked me. He liked me. And so my birthday was coming and he wanted to give me a gift. He ain't had no, you know, money, job, and all that. So he stole his mama earrings to give to me, and he brought them over to the house and the um, <laughs> the little earring box. They were really cute. They looked like older people earrings, in my opinion. But but I loved them. I love them because it was older people earrings. I loved them because he got those for me. I thought he bought those for me, and they were so special and I wore them. I didn't have nothing no well to match with them. They were they were gray and black. And um and I wore them and stuff until his mama came over to the house. His mama came over to the house to get her earrings back because he had to tell his mama what happened. She found out that he had took them and I didn't know she he had took them. So I gave him the earrings. Or gave her rather because she was there, the earrings back. But he likes me though. He was trying. Men will find a way to try to give to you, to invest in you, 
from their nothingness is my point of telling you that story. From their nothingness. And I was just like, yeah, I wasn't worried about it at all. You know, I gave it back and I was just done with it. I was over it. And that same guy, it was a long time later, because we wasn't teenagers just yet. We were still young. I mean, years had passed, but when he first got his little his little job, he had a job, I think, working with his family. I don't think it was a, lit, a legit job, but he got a job working with somebody in the family or something. And he got his own little money. And from his money, he bought me a gift. From his money, with a card. And he was like, here, I got this from you. I was like, Are you sure I could have this? Are you sure? He was like, yeah. Yeah, this for you. I bought this myself. Can't nobody take this back. <laughs> that was so cute. That was a cute story. That old sucker. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason why I shared that story with you all is to let you know when a guy, even at his floor, so even when he a little boy, he already know this. That he needs to invest because he's watching other people and he intuitively know what he got to do to be a man. <laughs> he know this. He gonna invest in that which he cares for or he likes. It don't matter what age it is. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you before you fall in love before you lie on your back you know because he told he had told me if I give him some then he was going to invest no baby no no stay off your back because in getting on your back what you're doing is opening up yourself to a baby you open up yourself to or STD or something that you can't you probably God forbid can't get rid of opening up yourself to a soul tie something that you be connected to internally that you can't just turn off like that so you open it up but he ain't never invested in you so now you opened up t to the baby you don't even know if he got pamper money <laughs> You opened up your legs to maybe an STD. You don't even know if he got money for that prescription. And then you opened up to that soul tie. You, you don't even know if he going to be there tomorrow. So let's get in the position where we're the receivers of him showing us that we're an investment. That that, that, that he cares about us. You could do it the other way. You could do it the other way and, and, and want him to feel the wop and put the wop on him. <laughs> All right. All right now. Be smart. Be smarter than that. Because that is not going to keep him there. It's not. It's not going to be the thing to keep him. What's going to keep him there is that he done invested so much. It's like, girl, I can't go nowhere. I done gave you, I done gave you my 401k. I gave you everything. You mine, huh? <laughs> because I invested in you. This video was from my heart to yours. You are worth that investment, baby. Yes, you are. Be blessed. <laughs>